to get it fixed immediately. He told me that now I wouldn't, he said, the reason being why you want to get something like that fixed immediately because long term, when you have kids, you want to be able to run with them. Uh, you don't want to wake up at 30 and can't walk down the steps. And he told me that would happen if I would continue to play on meniscus the way it was. And my love for the game, I'm, I'm just not thinking about when I'm 30. Right. I just want to play now. What was the coaching staff's response to that? They did not want me to have surgery at all. Um, Bruce Jones would tell me things like, uh, he, ne he needs me to, um, on the practice field now, he needs me to give the offensive line a look, and there's a high chance that he will burn my red shirt so I can play. So yeah. you can play? Exactly. On a torn meniscus? On a torn meniscus. But even if you didn't have that red shirt burned, he still expected you out on the scout team. Oh yeah, every week. Every day? Every single day. <laughs> I was the one, based off what the doctor said, I was saying, you know, if you you are red shirt, you know, take this time, have the surgery. The doctor said you can be ready for spring. Just get the surgery. For me and my personal reasons on my career, I need to have the surgery. So I went to the head trainers and the doctors and I um, explained to them that the coaches did not want me to have my surgery and that they were telling me I couldn't have my surgery. And they said that that's illegal and the coaches cannot do that. And whenever I was ready, I could have my surgery. You told your mom what what the doctor had said and he went ahead and had the surgery. Correct. And that was the third week in the season. Correct. Okay. When were you back on the practice field after that? Week. I was back practicing uh, week six. For that. So three weeks was all you missed. Yes, ma'am. And, and I was honestly back in two weeks, but they don't count that week because the third, the second week I'm on the field, I'm just running. It's like my right. first time. Yeah. Okay. So three weeks, I was 100% back on the field. I'm in a green jersey still. And I'm, I guess, practicing in this green jersey for like three days back off my meniscus. And uh, this particular day when I'm coming out for practice, I pass Coach Bruce Jones. Hey, Coach, how you doing? He said, I'm good, but I'll be doing better if you weren't in that green jersey like a little bitch. And I said, yes, sir, I hope your day gets better. And I <laughs> kept on stretching. So the head coach of the University of Tennessee called you a bitch for wearing a green no contact jersey three weeks after getting a torn meniscus repair. <laughs> yes, ma'am. After that practice, I went to the trainers. I said, I don't want to be in this, in this green jersey <laughs> at all. I don't, you just take me out of this green jersey. I don't need it. I don't, I don't, I don't need to be in it. So, they took me out of it. The next practice, I wasn't in the green jersey anymore. Next week, and um, that's when um, the incident happened as far as me getting jumped by the office.